What's poppin'? What's poppin', man? Hey, I'm on day 30. Day 30. And, you know, I usually, I usually, uh, use notes in my uh, other phone, but today, right now, we're gonna speak from the heart, man. We're gonna speak from the heart. See, I did see my retention, man, because I couldn't go a day. I'll probably go two days and I won't have sex. I won't watch porn. And then I'm right back to it. I couldn't go a day where I didn't get no new vagina. And to me, it was a thrill. It's a thrill, you know? And when you get a new chick, bro, and especially the ones who've been playing hard to get, when they play hard to get, you like, where do you just try and try and try and then you finally crack her like you finally you, you know like she finally say okay bro it's like okay and then after you on to the next mission bro to me that was a thrill you know and it, it's so crazy because the girls who really like me it was like it was like whatever with them it's the ones who told me no that i keep i keep staying persistent <laughs> I keep staying persistent. And once they say yes, like come through or they'll come over, I'm like, oh word, let's go. You know, so it was a thrill for me, man. But in this life, bro, and like some of you guys, you like you probably don't have a lot of sex, and trust me, you're not missing out. It all feels the same. It all feels the same. You know, it don't matter how much sex you have. Guess what's gonna happen? You will still feel empty on the inside if you don't know where you're headed in life. If you stuck in life, you gonna still feel empty on the inside. If you don't have no friends to talk to, if you don't know, um, if you got a lot of regrets and you still out here smashing, you gonna feel empty on the inside. And as a man, you don't want to feel empty. You want to have something that you love. You know, that's why that's why I always say, bro. Don't be out here chasing relationships, man. Like, I hear so many dudes. I want to find love. I want to... But, and on the other hand, I can't, like, I can't condemn y'all because I lived that life, too. I, I was that dude at one point, like, about to propose. About, I was that dude at one point. But in this day and age, bro, in this time, you don't want to be out here searching for love. Because sometimes, I'm telling you, when you look, you go find. You go find. And you got to be very careful, man, because these days people, they have, they have a, um, they have a short attention span, you know? And you could be having a bad life. It's like something can be going bad in your life. How you know that girl gonna stick with you through that time? How you know she gonna be there for you when you need her? You know? So a lot of men have to learn how to start loving themselves. You gotta start learning how to love yourself. Like stop looking for love in relationships. You know? I, I know that's that's what we was fed in the movies. That's what we was fed by the books the romance stuff trust me bro i love you know I, I still love romantic movies and stuff like that but being 32 i can separate that from real life you know i can separate that from real life because in real in the real world you don't just find that you know you attract that you can attract that but you don't want to be out here searching and you haven't done the work on the inside you gotta do the work way here first you can find the perfect woman you could find the perfect woman. Trust me, I had a few. I had a few that if I would have been the man I am today, man, y'all see me out here buying flowers and doing all kinds of stuff. If I was the man I was today at 25, 26, it would have been a wrap. I would have been good, you know, but I wasn't that man. So you, it don't matter if you find the perfect woman. If you're not right on, from within, you could you could fake to everybody. Everybody faking on social media. Everybody faking on Facebook. I ain't gonna say everybody, but for the most part, for the most part, people are not who they are on Facebook. People who are not who they are on Instagram. You know, you thinking these girls are some little saints and they not doing nothing and they and these girls getting it in, bro. 
These girls getting their back broke. Broken. Broken. Believe that. Believe that. You know, so while you having conversations with her, while you doing all this, she getting her back broken. While you trying to live in the 60s. While you trying to act like you a king, while you trying to act like you this perfect guy, but on the inside, you, you want to break her back too. <laughs> See, and that's what I love about semen retention, man. Semen retention, it really helps you be keep it real with yourself. Like you stop bullshitting yourself. And in this generation, I think the guys in this generation just have to take this journey and keep it real with themselves. Because I remember I was y'all age uh, and I was bullshitting a lot. You know, sometimes I kept it real. Sometimes I didn't, you know, but I think y'all get a lot of frustration because y'all spend a lot of time having conversations with women, but you never get what you want. You know, you never get what you want and you got to cut the conversations out. You got to cut the conversations out. You got to start having conversations with yourself. You got to start healing yourself because ain't no conversation going to help, bro. These girls are having conversations. They have a conversations with <laughs> so many dudes, bro. This is a conversation day and age. You got dating apps, everything. Everybody having conversations. Nothing is special. Nothing is valued. But when you contain your seed, you don't release then you start gaining that value. You start feeling valuable to yourself. You don't wait for somebody to say, oh, you special. Oh, I love you. Shit, I love me. It don't matter. It don't matter what, what you do. I don't care if you love me. I love me. And when you start loving yourself, that's when you start attracting because you start living in your truth. You have to live in your truth, man. I was going to name this video something else, but I said, you know what, man? Let me just talk. Let me just talk. Let me just run it. Like, you really have to live in your truth, bro. And once you start living in your truth, all the doors start opening. It, it was a movie. It was a movie called Flight. And I think I uh, put it the intro, well, the ending part on the intro of one of my old videos. And that's one of my favorite movies, man. That's one of my favorite movies. That's why I love what Denzel do movies because all his movies got like meaning to them. Even if they simple, it's still meaning to him, just like him, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, it still got meaning to him, Al Pacino. You know, so uh, at the end of the movie, they was trying to uh, get him to tell on a on a girl that he, the girl he loved, what he was having, you know, like sex with and stuff like that. They tried to get him to say it was her that was drinking on the plane, you know, because she died, and really, it was him. And, but he been lying his whole life. He been in denial. He been lying his whole life. And at that moment, he couldn't lie no more. When he went to jail, he, he was like, shit. Like, that's the happiest he ever been. Like, he felt more free in jail. Guess what? His son wanted to talk to him then. His son felt, I'm telling you, bro, when you start being truthful with yourself, all the doors start to open up. All the doors start to open up. What's the worst can happen when you're truthful with yourself? Because you already fearful of what can happen. Let it happen. You know, it comes a point in every man's life where he has to be truthful with himself. You know, you got to stop blaming all the women and you got to start blaming yourself. That's it. That's it. Oh, of course, they're not perfect. You know, they're not perfect. But let's be honest. Let's be honest. Women... <laughs> I ain't gonna say all of them, but most women, they'll never, they'll never take full accountability. So you just be that guy. You take full accountability, you, but don't do it for people. Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself, bro. And this sin retention journey, bro, it's gonna show you. It's gonna show you the real you. It's gonna show you what you hiding. It's gonna show you what you hiding inside. And I don't know if you guys ever did shrooms and LSD and stuff like that, but psychedelic drugs, they they do the same thing, but this is a real natural way. Take the semen retention journey. This is the real natural way where you go see what you're about. You go see all the capping you've been doing to yourself. You go see all the time you've been wasting. You go see 
you're not the man you thought you was. You go see. Because you're going to have to get over things that's been having control over you. you you're not going to be lying. I'm telling you, you take this journey, you're not going to lie, chicks. You're not going to have conversations that you don't want to have. You know, and a lot of you guys doing that because porn is so powerful, man. And you see a fine chick and she talks to you. It's like, it's like you break down. You take this journey, bro. You go be yourself and you ain't going to give a damn who don't like it. I'm myself. I don't talk perfect. I don't look perfect, but I got to a point where I don't give a damn. I just don't give a damn. You shouldn't either. Y'all have a good day.